It's another nice day across southeastern New England. Mid-May temperatures pretty typical today of what we would see heading into the second half of the month of May. Not nearly as warm as yesterday, of course, but dry skies, a little breezy. This is the view from the University of Rhode Island getting ready for their commencement ceremonies this weekend. And overall, the weather is going to be cooperating with all of those outdoor events going on. We're back to more of a normal high today, about 10 degrees cooler uh, than our high temperatures were yesterday. Sunny start to the weekend. Saturday still looks like the brighter half of the weekend, but overall dry skies and looking good for graduates this weekend. And then those unsettled conditions return next week. We're not necessarily talking about washouts of days, but chance of showers almost every day next work week. Taking a look at the temperatures right now, 65 Providence at 62 in Fall River, 64 in Coventry and about 65 degrees in Westerly this morning, uh, this afternoon now. So a cooler feel to the air for sure. And our radar sweeping down along the coastline, not finding any rainfall. There's none in the forecast for the day today. Very dry air in place. So what we've been seeing and what we'll continue to see this afternoon are those high clouds streaming overhead and they'll continue to move in from the north and west. Tending to clear out this evening and through the overnight hours tonight and then we're back to uh, dry and bright conditions when you wake up on Saturday morning and the sunshine that we start off with Saturday. A little bit of a cool day will give way to uh, partly to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. So this afternoon sun and high clouds breezy pleasant Highs near 71. Northwest winds around 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tonight we drop down to 49. Cool, dry, mostly clear skies. And then tomorrow's high back into the low 70s again. Sunshine mixing with a few clouds in the afternoon. Comfortable day. Winds will shift direction from the northeast to the southeast. Well, one of the problems here with this dry and breezy weather we've been having is that it creates those very high pollen counts that we've been seeing uh, this week. And we've got it again for today. Asthma remains low and so does the pain index. But one thing that we'll be watching next week is that those pollen counts will drop as the humidity goes up and our chance of showers goes up too. The visibility on the bay today 10 miles. We've got a high tide coming up just before two o'clock this afternoon. Seven day future cast low 70s today and tomorrow nighttime lows upper 40s Sunday's high. I have us in the upper 60s sunshine to increasing clouds headed out to McCoy Stadium for the walk and roll event there at two o'clock about 69 degrees in Pawtucket and then uh, Monday I have those showers in the forecast. Temperatures look warm and humid next week, but it's the start of an unsettled stretch. At least a shower threat each day. It's not necessarily, again, start to finish rainfall throughout the entire day, but you might have to keep that umbrella in the back of the car if you're running errands uh, basically Monday through Thursday. So not a bad weekend on the way. I still think Saturday is going to be your sunnier half of the weekend, Pat. All right.